Hiya, so it's Gaz here from Moth Couture. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, today, new project. Uh, it's me going back to basics with some hand tools instead of using my sort of table router and stuff. Um, on my last project, which was the Robert's Radio um, out of Oak, I started using chisels. I hadn't used chisels before. Um, even back in school, back in the day, many years ago, didn't use chisels. I don't know why we didn't. Um, it seems like obvious to me that you start with basic tools before you start progressing to power tools and stuff. But it seemed in, in school we kind of used basic tools, which was maybe something like a, a file, you know, um, screwdrivers and things like this and hand saws. But we didn't really use chisels for carpentry type things. And uh, now. The idea behind the chisels was because, see that back wall there against the garage, I've got this idea from the workshop entrance all the way down to the front of the garage, I want to build an uh, oak pergola. The cost of these things is ridiculous. So I figured materials is expensive, but I'm the kind of bloke who likes to have a go at things. If I fuck it up, then we've got to pay the professionals. So I've wasted a bit of money, but actually the risk reward, if I manage to pull it off, um, I've saved a fortune. Um, so I thought I'd buy chisels and teach myself to use chisels which would aid us in making this oak pergola down the line. So next project, here we are. Um, you see this on top of the table here and the reason I'm outside in the uh, garden table is just because the sun's out and it's nice. Uh, I need a vitamin D so I've got out the workshop the day and I thought I'd just chisel away at this and as you'll see I've marked it up you know there's a few lines marked up here with measurements and then i've chiseled out all this area here it just took us a while and uh, i've never chiseled hardwood but i have heard that hardwood's easier um to chisel than softwood because it's hard you know clearly so it doesn't just all splinter off softwood you've got to go so slow and tiny tiny little bit at a time otherwise you end up taking off quite big chunks because it just follows the grain and rips off anyway more on this down the line i thought i'd just give a quick heads up on what it is i'm doing at the moment i'm not going to tell you what this is for what project it's for but i think you'll agree when it's finished that it'll be pretty spectacular okay so until next time take care bye